let's talk about a couple things that you can do to make sure that your students are informed and also to check up on them and make sure that they are seeing material and doing the material. So let's start with talking about announcements. So up here at the top, you will see I have three announcements. I actually have more announcements posted than that, but this is what my students see when they first log on to our course. Most people don't realize that Canvas doesn't automatically put your announcements at the top of your course page. So that would mean in order for students to see them, they actually have to come over here to this announcements page and click on it, which we know eh, they're probably not going to do that. So let's make sure that we have it enabled for announcements to be at the top of our home page. So if you scroll down to settings and then when you get to this page, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this little tiny link that says more options. You want to make sure that you have this box checked that says show recent announcements on course homepage. And then you can pick how many announcements you want to show up. I think three is a good number. One means they may miss something if they haven't logged in in a couple days. And more than that, really just kind of clogs up your home page. So I think three is a good number to stick with, but that's totally up to you. And then you just need to make sure that you hit update course details. And now when you come to your home page, you should be able to see the announcements that you've posted. Now, if you haven't made any announcements, then it will just say recent announcements with nothing. It's super easy to make an announcement. You can hit this button over here and then you give it a title and type the information that you need students to know. You also can assign it to just one section of a class instead of all of them. You can do attachments. You can also delay posting by picking a specific time and date that you want it to post. So for instance, if I wrote an announcement today but I didn't want it to post until tomorrow, I could click that and then type the time. You also can say you want users to comment um, or to be able to like things or whatever. This is good if you're using your announcements kind of as bell ringers. I just mostly use them as announcements. And then you hit save and it's ready to go. So when a student sees an announcement, it looks kind of like this. And I just make sure if I'm discussing anything specific that I need for them to go back to, you can link to that and make it really easy for them to do that. On a student's homepage, if you're looking over their shoulder in class, if you see any red dots here, that means that they haven't read that announcement. However, here's something else to think about. If students have notifications set up, those announcements may be coming to their email and they could be reading the announcements from the email. I have multiple students who have told me that. So then they may not come here and click it because they've already read it in their email. So just something to keep in mind. Now something else that we want to talk about that's really important is how to check up on students' activity in Canvas. And there is a few ways that you can do that. The way that I'm going to show you today I think is the most detailed, the one that I use the most. So I'm going to go over here to People and it's going to look something like this when you first get to this page. It's going to have your students listed here which I just have mine covered up so that you can't see their names, student ID numbers, the section that they're in, if they're a student. You also will see parents listed here who are parent observers. And then you will have, this is the date and time of their last activity. So for example, I have some students who logged in like yesterday on September 26, but most students haven't logged in since Friday which it's the weekend, so whatever. And then this tells you the total amount of time that they have spent in your Canvas course. This number is kind of important like at the beginning of the year, but kind of after that, you need to be looking at this number. This is a quick place that you can go just to see if students have even logged in for the day. However, they could literally log into your course, look at stuff, not do anything, click out, and then be done. So if this is kind of where you're looking for your activity, it works, but it's not the best information. So I use this to just kind of see like, hey, did a student even log in today? Like my remote student. I sometimes will take a screenshot of this information if I needed to talk to a parent or talk to a student about how they haven't logged in or done work lately. 
So now let's talk about where you can go for even more detailed information. If you click one of the student names over here, a little menu is going to pop up on the sidebar. So let's pick a student and do that. So once you click on the student's name, it's going to bring up this sidebar, like I said, and it's going to have some more information about them that you can just kind of take a look at. However, if you click their name again, it's going to take you to a place where you can see a ton more info that's specific. So now that we're on this page, this has a lot of information about the student. This has the courses that they're in, all that good stuff. However, what we actually need is this over here that says access report. So let's click it. Now here is the good stuff. This access report is something that I check often for students who I feel like aren't doing what they need to do. So let's look at this information and talk about what we're noticing. So over here you can see actual content from your page. So this is the content the students are clicking on. This is how many times they have viewed the item. This is how many times they've participated and this is the last time that they viewed this item. So for instance, for this student, I can tell that the last time that they were in Canvas working was September 25th at roughly 7 o'clock. I can see that they came to the week six participation credit, which was an assignment for my students. They looked at it five times. They participated twice. And they did that around seven. So what that means is the student looked at this assignment five times and then twice they turned in something. So I can tell right off the bat this student, this assignment twice just from this place. So participations means a student did something and interacted within the course. This just means they looked at information. Now, don't let these numbers freak you out. Because if you see that a student has went to the course modules 85 times, then that can be like, oh my god, they clicked it 85 times at 7 o'clock? No. This number is total overall since they've been in the course. That's how many times they've viewed it. So you actually want this number to be big just like your home page or if you have buttons on your home page you want them to be big right however we can look at information for the class so if I scroll down I can see all the times that the student interacted so this was a discussion board so I can see they viewed it five times and then they did a post and probably a comment which is why they participated twice here they participated once because they were just turning in work but you can see if I start looking at these numbers, like let's pretend it's September 24th, I can see that on September 24th, the student did nothing because it jumps from the 23rd to the 25th. So that's something else that you can kind of use to figure out how you want to take care of certain situations. For instance, this notebook check, I had it closed on... Friday night and I wanted to make sure that every student took it and was aware that they needed to take it so if I had a student who said oh I didn't know we had to take that but I went to this page and I could prove that they had looked at it on Friday then I could take a screenshot of that and then prove to a parent look they knew they needed to take this they just didn't take it something else that you can use this for is if you have students who seem to be struggling in Canvas on clicking the right things and getting where they need to be, it's sometimes hard to get information back from them about how it's going. So I may come to this page to see if my EC or my ESL students are really understanding what they need to do. If they are just clicking around on the home page, then I know they're struggling. So I can tell them things like, you need to click the modules button, I need to see that you're in the work for today. I can also use this when I'm troubleshooting with students. If they're saying that they're clicking on something and it's not working, I can actually go here at any time and see if they're actually in the thing that they say they're in because sometimes they're not. So this information is super, super helpful and it goes essentially all the way back to the very first time that students have logged into Canvas. So that is really good information that you can use to check up on students and this is definitely what I use for my remote or virtual students all the time. Now I don't check this report every day. I only check it when I feel like there are issues or when I have a concern or when I need to talk to a parent. 
So today we learned about how to make sure that our announcements are on the top of our page so students can see them easily. And we also talked about how you can use the access report under people to check up on specific students, where they're clicking, what they're doing, and when they did it. See you next time.